um, I'd like to introduce um, Michelle Bessie. Uh, Michelle is a program planner with Sacramento County in the Substance Use Prevention and Treatment Services Department. Michelle is, is a licensed marriage and family therapist, and she has been in public service for over 20 years. And so um, Michelle will be giving a presentation on Sacramento County Healthy Beginnings presentation. Thank you so much. So my name is Michelle Bessie, and I'm gonna to talk to you about the seven perinatal enhancements that we have, one of those, which is um, set County Healthy Beginnings. So just to give you guys a little background, um, Sacramento County received the Coronavirus Response um, Supplemental Appropriations Act funding, also known as CURSA funding, which was approved on February 8th of this year and must be spent by December 31st of this year. So we have a pretty short amount of time to, um, you know, to really execute these projects that we have going. Um, so SAC County Healthy Beginnings is our biggest initiative out of the CURSA funding and our top perinatal enhancement. The vision and mission for this is empowering Sacramento families to thrive physically, socially, and emotionally free from effects of substance use and misuse during pregnancy. Sacramento County Healthy Beginnings will promote a healthy and safe environment for Sacramento County's family and children through outreach and education for professionals, community members, addressing perinatal substance exposure, prevention, and intervention. So just to give you guys some stats, in 2016 through 2018, the maternal and infant health assessment, 7.5% of women disclosed alcohol use during the third trimester of pregnancy, while 4.7% of women disclosed cannabis use during pregnancy. SAMHSA, during their 2013, unfortunately, that's the last data that we have, the most up-to-date data, reported 5.4% of women were using marijuana, 9.6% were using tobacco, 9.5% were using alcohol, and 0.4% of women were using opioids while pregnant. So this is a huge concern. In Sacramento County specifically, between 2017 and 2019, the um, dependency drug treatment court clients 30% of them, methamphetamine was their primary drug of choice. With early intervention family treatment court, we found that 23% of clients, methamphetamines was their primary drug of choice. In a study on methamphetamine during pregnancy, we found that it was the most commonly used substance during pregnancy and that out of 144 infants exposed to methamphetamines during pregnancy, only 13% of them tested positive at the time of birth. So we found a huge number of infants who were being prenatally substance exposed to methamphetamines, but they were going unidentified because they weren't testing positive at birth. So looking at Sacramento County specifically, between 2016 and 2022, we found 1,677 reports of prenatally substance exposed infants in Sacramento County alone. And those are just the infants that were reported. So what do we currently have here in Sacramento? We have an options for recovery program, which includes residential treatment, recovery residences, also known as sober living, intensive outpatient treatment, outpatient treatment and recovery services. We also have specialty programs through our medication-assisted treatment providers for pregnant women. So some of our service gaps and needs is we have a high rate, oh, there we go, sorry about that. We have a high rate of prenatally substance exposed infants here in Sacramento and children who could benefit from specific interventions for prenatal substance exposure. We also don't have um, a specific screening tool for prenatal substance exposure during, during pregnancy. 
and the information of prenatal substance exposure on the developing child and adolescent is not readily available or used in Sacramento County. Our goal is providing consistent information among different disciplines through Sacramento County providers. And we would like to give a common language to understand children with prenatal substance exposure. So some of our proposed goals is a screening tool for pregnant women to identify potential substance use and refer for early intervention and treatment services. We are looking to implement what's called the 4Ps Plus, which is a validated, um, a validated screening tool. We also wanna provide education to professionals in the community who act with, who interact with pregnant women whose substances and whose children have been prenatally substance exposed. We are looking to provide a media campaign for providers, encouraging them to increase their knowledge regarding prenatal substance exposure. This will also include articles in the Sierra Sacramento Valley Medical Society magazine. And we're aiming a specialized media campaign targeting women who are pregnant in Sacramento County, encouraging them if they are using substances to seek treatment early. So our timeline for this, we actually had our first big training um, on April 12th, which is an overview of prenatal substance exposure. But just in case you missed it, it's not too late. We have a number of trainings coming up. We have trainings in May, August, and November. We also have a stakeholders meeting coming up which everybody is welcome to attend. And I will drop the information in the chat if you would like to sign up for our stakeholders meeting, which is gonna be May 3rd, 1.30 to 3. One of the things we're gonna accomplish at our next stakeholders meeting is to design a specialized training series. These topics will be chosen um, by a survey, which will be conducted on May 3rd. So just again, um, stakeholders meeting, May 3rd, 1.30 to 3. So that was our Sac County Healthy beginning. Here are some of our other prenatal or um, perinatal enhancements that are happening through the CURSA funding that Sacramento County received. We are also doing ACM training. We had ACM books for all our treatment providers, Dr. Mi Lee, who wrote the ASAM book, came and did a training. We will have trainings for, available for all our contracted providers. We have a motivational interviewing training, um, which will occur April 20th, so later this week from one to three. That is free for everyone in the community, and I will drop the flyer for that into the chat. Again, anyone in Sacramento County is welcome to attend a free motivational interviewing training. We also have parenting curriculum and activities that will be updated in our Options for Recovery program, a prevention and media campaign, working with our current prevention providers and Sac County Healthy Beginning to really distribute information to transitional age youth, aiming at um, arming them with the knowledge of prenatal substance exposure to make sure that when they become pregnant or are parenting, that they know the dangers and are able to seek treatment early. Perinatal cancer number six is working with Sierra Valley, Sierra Sacramento Valley Medical Society to increase MAT education for med the medical community. And our final perinatal enhancement is an update to the Mather Community Campus Recovery Residences. So updated furniture and appliance for those units out there. So those are Sacramento County's seven perinatal enhancements. Any questions? Okay, I'm gonna, uh, if you have any questions uh, for Michelle, uh, if you wanna drop them in the chat or. Okay, wonderful. And I will get the flyer for um, 
the May training and the inter the motivational interviewing training. I will drop those in the chat. And again, anybody in Sacramento County is welcome to attend. Okay. Thank, thank you, you so Michelle. much. Thank you, thank you. And, uh, and also in the chat, there's a little update to the drug take back. It looks like Sac County, they, we collect, they collected 11,345 pounds of medication just in Sac County. And so that's pretty impressive. I've got that out of medicine cabinets and off the street. Um, and then we have um, Nicole's information uh, also in the chat. And so make sure you do take note of that information. 